Hello, I'm Chef Kouv, the founder of Kouv's Secret Supper Club, and here are the ingredients to a successful soiree. You set the tone through every single little detail. Um, you have to, it's, it's from the moment you say hello to the guests, maybe it's through emails, or maybe it's even through the app. Uh, it's, it's, it's what information sort of given to them, how, when they come into the, into the house or come into the venue, uh, what are the fragrances that, that, they, that they smell? What are the sights? What are the textures that they can feel and touch? All of this goes into, all of these details go into making an ex a, a successful, uh, successful dinner. So uh, we choose a theme each month. For instance, this month is uh, the Day of the Dead uh, from Mexico. So we picked certain items that, uh, like the can, like the sugar skull, for instance, uh, certain certain flowers that really sort of show the the festival. We chose certain colors as well that that work really beautifully with the menu. Um, all of these little details, uh, along with candles, of course, um, really set the tone for for the table. So when setting the table, there are some rules that I follow follow placements about sort of making things look uh, seamless but yet super curated. Uh, curation is key. So when it comes to summer menus, we tend to stick to fresher ingredients that are, I try to use as many local ing ingredients as possible. I think it's it's there are several 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 details uh, when it comes to the guest experience because at any given moment uh, they should feel that this is that they're invited that they're truly sort of invited to make a booking that they're invited to a home that they're invited to sample a menu as part of uh, Coop Secret Suppers we always have a secret menu uh, which means guests tend to take a leap of faith with the menus but they are given a theme with the idea of uh, let's say for this menu come in to try mexican food though they don't know exactly what they're going to eat so it becomes important that we give as much information as possible while still keeping the secret elements uh, quite secret to, to ourselves There's, passion is key, but I always say, I think food is about dedication. Food is, a, is a something that, that is, has to stay with you. It's something that you wake up thinking about. It's something that you uh, go to sleep thinking about too. So it becomes a, more of a calling, more of a dedication um, than the passion. Passion is important, but it's, it's also the, the dedication and really, really thinking about your process is, uh, is, is key. We're on a sweet note, 100% with dessert. The dessert is really, for me, the final opportunity to connect with a guest. It's, I think, most people look forward to sweets. I, I always do. I, I always look forward to the dolce uh, in, in any menu. Uh, but it's it's also the, the, the crescendo where everything that you build up to, let's say, in your eight courses or in your five courses, uh, it all builds up to the dessert. So I think the best way to wrap is with a beautiful memory that you carry with you to your home but but through flavor so dessert is key if you're looking to join a secret supper experience the easiest thing to do is download the speedo app and look for a chef near you